Hi guys! In this video, we're going to config our Amazon AWS to get it ready for deployment. In your terminal, make sure you're in your app. Type brew update to make sure your homebrew is up to date. Now we have to install the Elastic Beanstalk by running brew install AWS dash Elastic Beanstalk. I've already installed Elastic Beanstalk, but for the sake of this video, I'm going to reinstall it. However, if you've already installed it and it's up to date, there's no need to reinstall it. Let's initialize Elastic Beanstalk by running eb init, I -N -I -T. Select your region. Since I'm in Switzerland, I'm choosing number five, EU Frankfurt. If you don't choose, they'll set your default, which is number three, US West to Oregon. Since this is a new account, we didn't set up our security permissions, so we have to do that now. Open your browser and log into your AWS account if needed. Go to the upper right hand corner, click on your username and click on my security credentials. Continue to security credentials, click on access keys and create new access key. Take heed to this warning and download the key file because you won't be able to see your secret access key after you close it. I personally take a screenshot of this page instead of downloading the key, but I did also download it in this video. Copy the access key ID and paste it in your terminal for your AWS access ID. Press enter. Copy the secret access key and paste it in your terminal as well. And press enter. Enter a name for your application. I keep mine as a default since my project is called landing. Yes, we are using Ruby. To find out what version Ruby you're using, open a new terminal or the one you've already had open and CD into your app. Run Ruby-V to find the version. I'm using 2.5.1 and Puma since I have the Puma gem in my gem file. So I'm choosing number two. Unless you specifically configure Passenger in your Rails app, you're using the default app server, which is Puma. If you followed any of my tutorials, you're using the Puma unless we specifically configured Passenger. So choose your platform version and press enter. No to code commit. Yes, we want to set up our SSH. Create a key pair name. I'm using landing key pair eu for my app's name, key pair, and my region. It's not necessary, but it helps me organize all these daggone names and passwords we have to create. Enter passphrase. I use the same passphrase I've used for my SSH key. Enter it again. And again. Perfect. So we've uploaded our SSH public key into our EC2 the same way we've done with Bitbucket. We want to see if Elastic Beanstalk made a directory by running ls.elasticbeanstalk. We should see the config.yml file. Let's look into this file by running cat cat.elasticbeanstalk slash config.yml. We'll see everything that we've completed earlier that are stored here. Awesome. So we are ready to deploy our app, which is what we're going to do in the next video. See you there.